I'm home cold, just standing trial. Why ain't I see you well? I went to the Bars Awards and Mac Minister, and I saw you and Mac backstage. I was filming for them back then. Uh -huh. And uh, and I saw y'all backstage, and then I also fucked, because I'm from SAC, uh, there was a Black Armor, Rock. Remember Black Armor Records? Rock used to fuck oh, yeah, with Black Seabow. Black Armor, right, mm -hmm. right, and, uh, right. And Fat Tone. He fucked with both of them. He'd right. bring them to SAC to do verses and shit. So in that same week, I saw you at the Bars Wars. I saw them there. And it was yeah, fucking, when, it was funky. Like that's everybody. when Numb tried to go up there and talk that shit about me, nigga, and the whole regime. Rest Yo, the both of y'all, both of y'all were backstage because we should get to that. <laughs> yeah, I remember thinking it's weird. Shit about me since the bars of war. <laughs> hey, nigga, so I'm like, a fan. So, nothing. So like, what happened? Hey, so, so I'm a fan. Hey, as a fan, <laughs> as a nothing. fan, uh -huh. I'm filming. I I know Sacramento dudes and I know Spice really well. So like I'm talking to my people. But when I went backstage. He had his people yelling some shit out. Caliban, some shit. Nah, with... Taliban, yeah. Yeah. So they was backstage and it's like some fatigues. But Yuck was like a room over. And I was like, yo, I thought they, because I'm just a fan at the time. Right. So I'm like, I thought they was cool. But there was tension backstage. Right, right. Yeah. And I was right. backstage at, in that little ass hallway. And he was yelling out Taliban and Yuck yeah. was over there. And I was like, oh, it's funky over here. Yeah, and then the stage. And then nigga, you could talk about the stage. Them, yeah, you yeah, could talk pretty, about the stage. Nub got on stage. I wasn't even in the building yet. I'm outside the building. Nub mm -hmm. got on stage like, yeah, fuck Yuck mouth, this, that, and the third. The boy Pretty Black rushed up the stage, grabbed the mic from the nigga. It's regime life. Nigga, you better watch your mouth. Nigga, whoop, whoop, whoop. The yeah. whole mob rushed the stage, man. So it's about to get ugly. But um, Numb, this is when I'm beefing with G-Unit. At the okay. time, right? So this is like 06, 05, some shit like that. So I'm beefing with G on it. Numb is working on his solo album. Mm -hmm. So, you know, 50 Cent made the temperature to where you diss a nigga, you yeah. know what I mean? That That's the new marketing yeah, strategy. Right, right. So Numb think it's the bright idea to make a song dissing me mm -hmm. on his new album to be, to promote his new album. I'm like, oh, we was cool. We just yeah. did an album, Silver and Black, when I'm a Raider on it, like two mm -hmm. years prior. Three years prior, like where this come from? So he dissed me or whatever, and that's why he had the had the energy at the bars awards. Like fuck yeah, come out this that mm -hmm. the third nigga. So he got checked for that, you know what mm -hmm. I mean? Period. So the dude been had a problem back in the day. I don't so know. So that's what, what I want to get to, bro. Down, so man. listen, y'all brothers, man, y'all done made history I, I together, thought, right? Shit, at so least you, what? Think, what? That's what, my what brother. Is the I don't issue, know what he bro. think about me. I don't know. You gotta ask that nigga, man. So you mean to tell it's me the bars of wars? He been it's so been hold funky. on. So you ain't never asked this nigga, called this nigga, say, nigga, what is your problem? I what? asked him face to face. What he, he say? couldn't say it. He, he like, oh, nigga, you done put no money on my books. Like, nigga, you dissed me before I ever put. Like, you ever went to jail, nigga? Like, what are you talking about? So he ain't never explained to you why he dissed you or Hell why? no. Nah. Never. That's why. Oh, what man. you think it's from then? I don't know. I think, I hope it was the G-Unit shit, but, uh -huh. you know, the promotion marketing and shit, yeah. but it, I think that's really how this nigga feel about me. You why know what I mean? A lot of people think, a it, lot of people think when I went solo from. that they like, I left the nigga, mm -hmm. but stranded or something. You could go solo too. Mm -hmm. You could go get your deals, which he did, but it yeah. wasn't as successful as mine. When you went solo, did you include him on your solo He's shit? on the album. He's on a couple of the albums. Okay. Like I bought the Loonies to fucking rap a lot. And we did an album at Rap a lot, yeah. Silver and Black. So I bought the I bought him to rap a lot. Yeah. Like, so what else could I do? I bought you over there. Nigga and got you a bag. So it's like, <sighs> nigga, it ain't like I just went solo and left you, nigga. I bought you to rap a lot. We our last album was on rap a lot. Yeah. So yeah. here recently, y'all shit been heating up. I mean, y'all been on, it's the clubhouse shit. It's yeah, all this old shit. Yeah, it's going Now, it's let going me ask crazy. you. Now, somebody said, now, you know, now now correct me if I'm wrong. I know some of the fans and some people were saying, and I ain't going to lie, I heard whispers up in Oakland when I was right. just up there. Right. They said that you said some shit that you probably shouldn't have said about him that was false. Um, the whole thing was, I said uh, that he had to uh, register, which right. was, was false. But okay. he did catch an R case. Uh -huh. You know what I mean? And he beat it. Okay. You know what I mean? Now, me being naive, I never asked him, not even naive, not caring about it. When he mm -hmm. got out of jail, I didn't give a fuck about it. You my nigga. Mm -hmm. I'm not going to ask you no personal shit about that, getting deep into this shit. You know, mm -hmm. that's your personal. Whatever you do behind closed doors, that's you. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? As long as you show up to work and we bust his bag down, I'm good with it. So I never asked him no questions about it when he got out of jail. Mm -hmm. Period. I'm thinking that he got convicted for the shit. I don't know. You know what I mean? Okay. Because the tabloids was... You know, he faced an X amount of time for an R case. The yeah. tabloids never came out when he got out that he beat the case. Okay. You know what I mean? So I never knew that. Mm -hmm. So him um, 
three years ago, we ain't been fucking with each other for three years. So three mm -hmm. years ago, he um steal some money. Yeah, you know I mean, he goes get a deal overseas for a vinyl. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? It don't include me, CNH, nobody. He just takes all the money. You know what I mean? I find out about the shit. You know mm -hmm. what I mean? The people ready to cut me and CNH a, a check, and they like, well, we gave them all the money. You know, we ain't got no money. Mm -hmm. You know, none was supposed to bust it down with y'all. So I get at none. I'm like, yo, what, what's up with this deal? You know what I mean? He like, yo, stay on my shit. This is my own deal, nigga. Stay on my business, nigga. I've been locked up for X amount of years, nigga, and I need, my, you know, whatever the fuck. Mm -hmm. And hung up on me. Okay. You know what I mean? And I'm like, yo, like, he's supposed to be breaking it down. Or, you know mm -hmm. what I mean? Why the fuck are trying to include us? Yeah. Like, stay out my shit, nigga. This is my money. Woo, woo, woo. And it was loony shit, not no school shit. Operation Stack Ola. Oh, shit. Okay. okay. Our biggest album. Yeah. Vinyl. He did a deal overseas and they give us shit. Damn. So after he hung up, I hung up on him and mm -hmm. stopped fucking with him. You know what I mean? That was just the straw that broke the camel back. I done mm -hmm. been through so much shit with this nigga. It's ridiculous. Yeah. You know what I mean? Period. But that was the straw that broke the camel back. Because at this time, the Us movie just came out. Everybody's got a huge bag from that. We on tour with Snoop Dogg. Right. Pup Up Pass Tour. We got dates. We on a date. I mean, mm -hmm. on a date at the time when mm -hmm. I found out. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? So it's like, come on, my nigga. Money is coming through. There's no right. reason to steal. Right. There's no reason to do no shit like that. And, you know, he felt like he did no wrong. So. Okay. I had to stop fucking with him. So So you think y'all can reconcile? At of course, of course, definitely. Yeah. Later on in life, but until he man up, you know what I mean, yeah. and apologize for the shit that he did, uh -huh. I can't fuck with him. Until uh -huh. he changed his ways of doing business, right. I can't fuck with him. Uh -huh. You know, I'm here to keep the brand alive, not fuck up the brand. Yeah. When yeah. you taking money and not showing up at shows and just sending me out to these cities by myself, my life is in danger. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? I'm out here with these promoters that can either fuck me up mm -hmm. or just say, you know, we're going to work it out. You do your solo shit. Mm -hmm. Thank God I got solo shit I could do. Mm -hmm. And I work it out with him. Okay, we're going to do a Yuck show instead of a Looney show. And then mm -hmm. you got a deposit on another show because he took the money. So Damn. when I got to do shit like that and, and keep the bridge going without mm -hmm. burning the shit, yeah. you know what I mean, multiple times, and then you stealing from a nigga and all that, mm -hmm. it's like, come on, bro. Wow. You wow. know what I mean? Like, what, what can I do? Yeah. Like, what, what more can Hands I do? Hands are kind of tied. Yeah. yeah. So what I would know, you do? What would I do? If motherfucker sold mm -hmm. your hottest album overseas yeah. and give you no money. Yeah, I feel You're some kind of way. You're doing shows sure. and a nigga not showing up to yeah. shows. Yeah, I feel some kind of way. getting you kicked off of tours and shit yeah. and whatnot. What yeah. would you do? Yeah, uh, yeah, I feel some kind of way. Yeah, definitely. I feel some type of way. Yeah. Would you separate the you elevator don't have a or choice. would you, or, or I mean, would you at keep that, it going? Like, I mean, you, at that point. Because the fans and all the homies yeah. in Oakland, everybody like, bro, man, you got to. I mean, like, at that point, on, you don't have a choice. You know what I'm saying? You don't have a choice but to keep it going. I mean, like you said, I mean, you doing you, your version of the loonies. He's doing him, his version of the loonies. Right. You know what I'm saying? I mean, niggas got bills to pay, so you right. can't sit around and wait on a nigga. You know what I mean? I'd be curious to know why he's doing what he's doing, you know, if that's what he's doing. You feel right. me? Right. Well, he, like, he can answer that, man. Yeah. You know, he can answer that. So I know he threw out there uh, uh, he wanted to shoot the fade. Right. Yeah. So what, what you feel on that? Like, celebrity boxing, I'm with that. Yeah. I'm getting a bag from that. I'm not about to do no backyard boxing, my nigga. That yeah. ain't happening, my nigga. Yeah. Period. So let me ask you, being that that's your brother though, yeah. you don't you don't think that y'all could like go to like you said, a backyard talk, just you and him, fight, whatever y'all need to do, get an understanding, then move forward and get some money. That's what we're gonna do in the celebrity boxing. Okay, so you like fuck that. Yeah. If I'm gonna fight, I want some money. Yeah. yeah. Why not? Yeah, I mean it makes sense. Uh, I mean, if we gonna do it, let's do it for the bag. Like, why yeah. go in the backyard? Let's make a spectacle of the shit. You know yeah. what I mean? Let's get yeah. a bag out the shit. Now it's gonna uh, uh, create anticipation for the uh, uh, fucking reunited a uh, reunion right. album, reunion right. tour. Right. These niggas done fought. Like, well, when they coming back? Like, right. it, it's going It could be a super bag if we play it right. I see what you're saying. Yeah, like yeah. I'm, see what I'm, I was I'm the business. He's man. always on the business. That's yeah. what yeah. I was about to say. He's on his. He on his. Yeah. So business. you like fuck the personal shit? We can get past that when we got some money in our pocket. Hell yeah. 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 And continue <laughs> getting money. You know what I mean? Period. Yeah. But Well, we split it up right. Yeah. yeah. Not somebody stealing. Yeah, you know I mean, like, yeah. like on, Gonzo man. and what's his name doing the doing the uh, the fight. You yeah, know? Bosco. Bosco and Gonzo, they yep. end up being the best friends best in friends. life. Yeah. Like, best yeah. of friends. Yeah. You you was, we, were get, we were gonna have Gonzo. Gonzo on the show. was supposed to come on the show before he got before he passed away. I still got text in my phone from wow, him. Wow, yep. because we had we had uh, we had Bosco yep. on. 
Mm-hmm. Uh, Bosco was the one that cooked shit. it up. Nah, Bos- Bosco was cool. Oh, as fuck. Yeah, 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 but nah, I'm talking yeah. about but they was talking they shit. Bosco yeah. said that's my that's no, my no, they was cool. They, they was cool. cool. Oh, they was yeah, best friends. They was at already this cool time. at that okay. time. And so yeah. Bosco was like, "Hey, my shit, Gonzo want to come on?" I said, "Yeah, for sure, for sure." So me and uh, Gonzo got to rapping, and yeah, he ended up getting killed. So yeah, rest in peace to the yeah. guys, man. Yeah. I talked to him like uh, a week before before uh, it happened, man. Mm-hmm. Before he went to Paradise, man. I was yeah. out in Vegas at the Big Three, fucking with Cube. We, yeah. They hired us to perform, mm-hmm. and um, he was calling like, "Yo, tell Cube." I said, "What's up, nigga? Congratulations, nigga. Yeah. Woo, 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 woo. Nigga, proud of you and shit like that." Yeah. I'm like, "Hell yeah, tap in, yeah. nigga. We gonna get you on smoke a lot when you come to L. A." Yeah. And nigga, a week later, like the, the bullshit happened, man. Yeah. So rest in peace to Gonzo, man. Yeah, Definitely. Yeah, for sure, for sure. But um, yeah, man, at the end of the day, when you fight a motherfucker, man, you get respect. It's like yeah. when the when the bully used to always pick on you. Even though win, lose, or draw, you fight right. back, that bully got respect Good for you respect. from now on. Absolutely. You know win, win, lose, or draw, as long as you fight back. As long as you fight back. So yeah. the respect ain't there. That's mm-hmm. why he's doing the sucker shit. You mm-hmm. know what I mean? If the respect was there, he'd know better. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Period. It's not no respect. Did you so. ever feel like early on, like way back when y'all started and was young, did you ever see, you know, glimpses of what, you know, some flaws in this character maybe? Or or did you did you ever think like, you know what, I see where this shit gonna go? Or what he did hit you left field, how it turned out. It was like, damn, Man, I didn't see that coming. Hustling, he was fucking up. Mm. In the streets, he was fucking up. You know mm-hmm. what I mean? Coming up short and I had to pay for his shit. Mm-hmm. Like, you know what I mean? He was a fuck up when the hustle game. Mm. You know what I mean? But he knew how to rap. Mm-hmm. So, you know what I mean? I'm linking up with him on a rap. We ain't hustling no more. We ain't selling rocks. But Got you. that business, you know, hustling teaches you how to handle any type of business. Right. You know what I mean? When you're dealing with money and commerce and selling shit, right. buying shit for low price and selling for the high. For sure. You know what I mean? Doing it's business. discipline there, too. Yeah, and stacking money, finances, yeah. and shit, all that. Yeah. It helps you with just daily business, period. Yeah. If you was doing that. If you was good at it, you really know how to handle your business and this rap shit is the same shit. Real you shit. are the product instead of the cocaine or exactly. the weed. You selling you. Mm-hmm. Personality, brand, the whole shit. Yep. So I treat the shit the same. I was good at selling dope, now I'm good at selling, you know, the brand yeah. and this. If you ain't if you was fucking up doing that, what's gonna make you do good on this as far as financial wise right. and handling the bag and doing yeah. right business. You know what I mean? Yeah. I come from organized crime when we bust it down. Yeah. You take turns, knock on me, knock on you, knock on this. We all buying from the same plug. We all got the same work, but we yeah. all, you know what I mean? So yeah. It's structured, you yeah. know what I mean? You got the lookout right there. You got right. this one right here. You got the one to grab the money. You got the right. one to go get the dope. It's all structured. Everybody play their position, but everybody getting paid. That's what I come from. That's mm-hmm. the same way I handle business, mm-hmm. period. So. He don't handle business like that. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean, it's more of a, a, a narcissist type of situation where it's all about him. And then when you, when you spoil <clears> my <throat> nigga, it's like mm-hmm. it's really nothing. When you could go back and you know what I mean, still be good. You know yeah. what I mean. Your family got money and shit, so you really don't have to. You know what I mean. Oh, so, that's 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 his background. Yeah, his family got money, man. So okay, he ain't got to do no real street shit. He oh. was doing that shit to be cool. Oh, okay. Yeah. So, so. he ain't from where you from? Hell nah. Okay. Mm-hmm. Where's where's known from? I don't know. You don't know. I think he's from you Lake. You grew up with that nigga. I met you? him around Lake Merritt. <laughs> oh, <laughs> but I ain't. I ain't never went to but his you hood can't or be nothing. From Lake Merritt, though, right? He was living there. Oh, okay. Shit. He was. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know where he's from. You know what I mean, period. I, I never went to his hood or nothing like that. Damn. Yeah. So hold on. So you hood. niggas was y'all friends or y'all just rapped together? Nah, we was friends. Oh, okay. We was best friends. My nigga, <laughs> okay. he was a dresser like hell and shit. We was okay. best friends. Hell yeah. So you never asked him them kind of questions, like you know what I'm saying? He, I, if he had a hood, he would have took me to it. I okay. assume. Okay. Yeah, I ain't had no like his hood was like where we used to sell dope at. He was, yeah. That, that's yeah. where he from. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> I ain't went that's to his funny. real neighborhood. That's like, funny. So you had a stint though where you was a period was you Pearl you was, Street. I think they was claiming Pearl Street by the lake. Okay. Yeah, I think they was claiming Pearl Street. 